Uh, um, uh, reading one of uh, Fenon's uh, books, there is uh, the, um, the, the, the paragraph or the chapter when he says, it's up to the oppressed to liberate themselves. I think, I think that's, uh, that's a crucial thing that he said there. Um, I realize that uh, in, the, in the living politics that we have, that there is no person who can, who can come from the outside and teach us how, how to liberate ourselves. It's up to us to liberate ourselves uh, because we are the one who experience the hardships, especially in rural areas and as the farm dwellers. So we are the one who know, who know how to respond to those, to those difficulties. So if there is anybody who can, or, or who can do the difference in, the, in that situation, it's, it's us. Uh, even though we have sometimes um, the problems about the people who come from the outside and uh, think that they know how to help us, which is a very unfortunate thing. It, because it tends, it tends to contradict with our values because we are the university of our poverty. We know what we experience every day and we believe that uh, the, the, the response to, the, to, to, that, to that particular uh, situations that happen to us can come to us, can come from us. Uh, so, uh, in the, when Fenon says uh, it's up to us to liberate ourselves because I regard, my, I regard myself as the oppressed and as the person who is living on the farm in the rural areas who has been evicted not once but three times. I regard myself as uh, uh, the person who is oppressed. So uh, I, 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 I've learned a lot from what uh, Fenon is saying and uh, on the other issue as i'm looking to our government there is something that uh, fenon said when he said um the, the party during the struggle is the place where um the struggle is happening like where they plan how to achieve the indep the independence but uh, when their independence is achieved the party tends to be the mean to control the people. I think that's a crucial thing that he said because I think that's exactly what's happening here. It's with, it, it witnessed by the words of Julius Nyerere when he was talking to the, uh, one of the journalists, uh, which is Felicia Mabuza, if I think, when he said that um, South Africa hasn't actually take over hasn't like take over uh, freedom. It's not actually exercising democracy. It only took over from the apartheid era government and it only took over offices because it doesn't exercise any uh, democratic um, doings or did, uh, uh, that's it. Uh, uh, and I think that's what I learned and yeah, um, that's it.